chess collection. So I've just received magazines 74 and 75. Unfortunately, no Mr. Fantastic again. But I did get an email from Eagle Moss saying that he had been misprinted and actually was on a queen base. So what they're going to be doing is getting onto the manufacturer and obviously reprinting that piece on a king base. So although I won't be able to review the the misprinted uh, Mr. Fantastic on the Queen base because I didn't receive it. I should in about 10 weeks time being, well, hopefully um, be getting Mr. Fantastic on the King base and obviously then we'll be, do, be able to do an accurate review of him. So yeah, um, we await that figure still. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at uh, Green Goblin and Agent Venom. I've already got them out of the box. Uh, reason being is, Green Coblin was uh, detached from the base, um, so I've had to reattach him. Um, but well, thankfully there is no damage there, it was just uh, like Professor X actually. He has one of these clear tubes that goes into the base because obviously he's above the ground there and that had just come loose. So yeah, both pieces look fantastic. Uh, we'll start with Magazine 74. Um, and that is Green Goblin. So let's take a closer look. So Green Goblin's on a glider, as you can see. So just looking at the face, um, his head's actually quite large. Um, he's got really, really big eyes and eyebrows. As you can see there, he's kind of looking quite angry. He's got uh, a sort of bronze and brown haircut. Almost looks like Fred's, or I think that's what they're called when you when you dread short hair. I can't remember to be honest, but yeah, definitely looks like he's got like dreads there on his hair because he's got lines across the top and then around the back. Um, he's got obviously flesh toe, which is quite pale. He's got some bronze blusher on by the look of it on his face, and he's got a kind of dark and pink for the lips well actually it's a very light pink his outfit's really cool um, he's got this purple bodysuit on with a black belt then he's got this kind of golden satchel which goes over his shoulder which is quite cool and he's got um, this sort of pumpkin which looks like it has flames coming out of the back of it there Pumpkin kind of has a kind of grimacing face, like, no, put me down. Then he's got, um, I'm not sure what that is in his hand, it looks like some sort of mask, possibly. I'm sure we'll have a look and find out when I read the magazine, but it's not clearly apparent what that, it could be a bag be a mask or sort of some sort. His arms are scaled, so he's got scales on them and the same on the legs and they're painted in a green and gold. They look, actually the effect of those is really good, very much like Lizard, who we got a long long time ago now. But those legs look really really well sculpted and then he's got purple sort of jester boots on, which are Intermixed with some black there to give them a worn look. Then he's on this glider, which has red eyes and it's painted in silver. It has sort of an engine here at the back, but it's all painted in silver apart from the eyes. It looks fairly plain, um, not too much detail on the glider. And then I said he's the glider is attached to this clear tube, which then goes into the Black King base because obviously Green Goblin is our Black King. So yeah, a decent king, a decent piece. He stands quite tall because he's on the glider, but then he is kind of hunched over. So that is our Green Goblin piece. So it wouldn't be a Spider-Man set with without Green Goblin. So let's take a look at the Green Goblin magazine. So Norman Osborn is the deadliest enemy Spider-Man has ever faced. He killed Peter Parker's first love. 
and has inflicted pain on him repeatedly over the years. Osborne is also the father of Peter's closest friend, Harry. He has been known as the Goblin King, Goblin King, so is the perfect choice for the collection's Black King, and I'd agree with that. So there we go. I think that thing he is holding is his mask, but it obviously just by what is happening there. But yeah, it just talks about the Green Goblin, obviously. Um, obviously, Green Goblin has been in a lot of Spider-Man comics. So, um, quite a familiar character, but if you want to kind of know a bit more about him, um, the magazine certainly goes into more depth. There's a cool picture in the middle here of Spider-Man fighting Green Goblin. Actually, I think it's going to be that way around. So, Green Goblin's on the glider there, Spider-Man's hanging on to him. And he's got one of those kind of pumpkin, pumpkin grenade things in his hand. Talks about him being a mad genius with hideous strength and having lots of goblin gadgets. Pumpkin grenades are really, really cool. Talks about how he was there when Gwen Stacy died. And yeah, really, really cool piece. Also, it showcases then Agent Venom on the back. And then <clears throat> we actually have Green Goblin playing chess on the very, very back, which is quite a cool picture actually that's pretty awesome isn't it so yeah that's magazine 74th good to finally get him and i think overall i think the only thing i'm meh, a little bit me about is the head but other than that i think the body looks really good the glider's okay really like the pumpkin grenade and the satchel actually looks really good as well and the scaling on his outfit is pretty cool so yeah overall good piece that's green goblin on to Agent Venom. Agent Venom looks really, really cool as well, actually. Here he is. Um, so he's kind of in Venom body armour. Um, I'm not, not sure. I haven't really heard much about Agent Venom, so I'm not sure who he is. But I imagine he's linked to the Venom symbiote in some way. But yeah, he's got really cool body armour on. He's painted in black and um, kind of grey with white stripes. The spider on the front is certainly in a grey colour, whereas these straps are on more of a white colour, and then the spider on the back is more of a grey once again. A very, very light grey though. On the face, he's got a uh, white, eye, white outline to the eyes, and that is about it. There's a bit of ear sculpting. You can kind of just about see it has ears there. Really like the shoulder pads, they're really cool. And then he's got these gauntlets, which are pretty awesome as well. He's kind of holding a, I'm sure it's a, it looks like a sniper rifle with a scope there, or potentially a machine gun, I'm not sure. Um, he's got a really cool belt with, with pouches on, and then he's got a uh, handgun there holstered away on his thigh. And then he's got shin pads on the legs and knee pads also and then he's got boots on his feet and he's got obviously the white pawn base so he is a good character so yeah really really pleased with Agent Venom I really like the sculpting um, you know the kind of militarised look it looks really really good on him um, so a really really cool white pawn to add to the collection definitely looks fearsome um, yeah, the, the gun's a bit weak. I mean, the painting on the gun is a bit meh. And, and I think the gun looks slightly bent as well. So the gun isn't particularly great, but I think the actual figure is pretty cool. So we'll just put him there with Green Goblin for a second. So, Agent Venom, who is he? Flash Thompson is the latest host for the Alien Symbiote, taking the code name Agent Venom. The partnership has come at a price but his symbiotic union has also led Flash to adventures far from Earth. He is one of the collection's white pawns. And here we go. If you want to learn more about Agent Venom, which I certainly do, then obviously you can find out more in the magazine, learn about his interactions in the comics, um, how he became a Venom symbiote. Um, there's a really cool picture of Venom 
almost licking Agent Venom there in the middle. Um, yeah, obviously it talks about him having some arachnid behaviour. Um, but yeah, really, really cool piece. Interesting character. You know, very, very different to our Venom piece, which is actually one of my favourite pieces in the original set. So yeah, and then also just previews Magazine 76, which I'll be taking a look at soon, which is Carnage. So another really interesting character along the symbiote line. So yeah, and there's Agent Venom on the back. So that is Magazines 74 and 75, so another good two pieces. I mean, the pieces these days are, are pretty, pretty spot on compared to the early days, and particularly the first set. Um, obviously it's just a shame that Eagle Moss has been a bit off with their deliveries and been taking their time with Mr. Fantastic, uh, which has you know been a real frustration of late. But yeah, two really, really cool pieces to add to your collection. So if you can find them, certainly go out there and add them because I would definitely recommend both pieces. Anyway, yeah, uh, my name's Brad. I do regular updates on the Marvel Chess Collection um, and other bits from Eagle Moss and a few other places as well, a few other brands and themes like Game of Thrones and whatnot. So yeah, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, just uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, just click like as well. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. Bye.